Hey y'all, hey. How you doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> If it is your first time joining me here, hey, hey, all right, so I've been around a little while, and by little I do mean little, and there are a lot of things that I've noticed as being a YouTube creator, hence the reason I'm making this video. First and foremost, this will not be your typical growth video. So, no. I'm not about to talk to you about the technical aspects of being a YouTube creator. I'm not your girl. That's not my ministry. So, I'm not giving that to you. If that's what you're looking for, you have Annie Dubay, Nick Nimmin, VidIQ for that type of stuff, okay? What I am here for today is to focus on us. Yes, us, you and me. To be a small YouTuber is defined by having 10,000 or less subscribers now i don't know about you but me i'm struggling trying to reach my first 1000 hell i'm trying to reach 250 truth be told nonetheless it's not about me it's about us growing together okay so even though i'm struggling I'm enjoying the process. And that's what this is about. Being able to enjoy the process of reaching each of our goals, of reaching each milestone. Okay? So, I'm going to talk to you about creating a supportive community for yourself and for your channel yes yes i know it would be fantastic it would be absolutely astonishing amazing to have a large youtube creator to shout us out like hey yeah y'all go over there and check out the inspired empowered mama's channel she's doing this she's doing that she got it going on yeah, it would be lovely to hear that. And you would love to hear your channel name broadcast on one of their channels as well. I get that. But sometimes we tend to forget, one, that they're busy. And yes, some of them are doing their part in giving back to the little guy. But even in the same aspect, we look at them now as they are right now and forget that they started where we are. We forget that they were once small YouTubers. So they do know our struggle. They do understand our plight. But there's only so much that they can do for us. Okay? So what we need to do is to understand that just like with anything else in life, you shouldn't be seeking a handout you need to aim to seek a hand up and yes there's a difference because a handout is someone just giving to you and you're just taking a hand up is someone actually helping you while you're attempting to help yourself okay so this can be started. You can get started with this is seeking to give more than you receive. 
some of us around these parts don't understand that. But hopefully it'll get better and everyone will understand that that's just a little part of being successful on this platform. Okay? Just a little part. So, I have five topics that I want to touch on based on what I've seen in my time here on this YouTube platform. Okay? So, let's go ahead and get more into it. Number one, and a lot of these you may have heard before. You may have heard other content creators talk about it. And that's not the reason I'm bringing it up. The reason I'm bringing it up is because it's what I've seen in my short time here. And it's what I know to be a fact, not only on YouTube, but in, in life. A lot of these things can be used outside of YouTube. So number one is be authentic. You may have heard it. So you're hearing it here again. Be authentic. You have to be you, baby. You have to be you. The real you. Not some washed up version. Not who your mama think you should be or your friend think you should be or the mailman who's known you your whole life think you should be. Who are you? Be who you know that you are. You have to be you. One of my favorite quotes is by Oscar Wilde. And it says, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. So do you get it? Out of all the people on YouTube, what's wrong with just being you? Okay? You can't be Jane you don't need to try to be Jessica. You can't be Mr. Ralph that's down the street. You have to be you. Be who you are. Be the best you that you can be. Promote you. Encourage yourself. Do what needs to be done for you. Authentically. Because... It's something that's needed. What brought you to this platform? I know there had to be something that brought you to the YouTube platform other than money. Well, I hope there's something that brought you to the YouTube platform other than money. And whatever that was, get back to it. Because sometimes we get so caught up in the hustle and bustle of let's get it done. Let's get the subscribers. Let's get these watch time hours that we lose sight of why we're actually here. So whatever that reason is for you, whatever that reason was for you, get back to it. Because knowing your why and taking it, breaking it down piece by piece will enable you to set easier goals that can be attained and find that part of the community that you belong in. Okay? So, whatever your why is, you need to get back to it. And this is because... If you keep your why in the forefront of your mind, it will keep you in the state of clarity. It will keep you focused. And I know we tend to sway a little bit here and sway a little bit there. 
just trying to find where we fit in. I get that. I understand it. I promise you I do. Because what I found here as well is that YouTube, the platform itself, is just like the outside world. You have clicks. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. To each his own. But you have to find your place. You have to find your place. And when you find your place, you have to be authentically you. Number two, transparency. Please be transparent. I know sometimes we just feel like, no, I can't do that. No, they don't need to see my heart. No, they don't need to really know what's going on in my life. No, I'm not telling you to sit up and say, oh, who you slept with last night. No. I'm not saying that they need to know what color your underwear are. Uh, no, because we don't want to know that. But your personality, you don't have to hide that. If you're an emotional person, that's okay too. Understand that it is okay to be both transparent and vulnerable. I know for me, I have a couple of videos on my channel to where in the process of me recording, I started crying. I sure did. Did I plan on it? Of course not. But it happened. Did I edit it out? No, I did not. Why? Because that was my truth. That was my truth. And if anyone has a problem with my total transparency and the vulnerability in which I have on a particular topic, then, you know, my channel's not for that particular person. But I am who I am, and I will never be ashamed of that, and neither should you, ever. Whether it's here on YouTube or anywhere else. Transparency is the key to a lot of things, and it'll actually open a lot of doors for you as well. I, I look at transparency, and I know I tend to, I will equate a lot of things to food as um, bread and cheese. Transparency along with authenticity. The perfect grilled cheese sandwich. Like, perfect. Who doesn't like a great grilled cheese? If you don't, okay, it makes the perfect peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Transparency and authenticity. Boom. There you go. Okay? They go hand in hand. You cannot have one without the other. You cannot have one without the other. You just can't. Okay? You can't. Not at all. So, in being transparent, you also need to understand that even though you're in front of the camera and you have viewers and they're sitting there, people can tell when you're being fake and phony. And if they can't tell in that moment, eventually they will find out. And so, when they find out that you've been lying about something or faking something, you will lose them. So everything that you've worked so hard to accomplish, you will lose. So be authentically you and be transparent while doing so. On to number three. Support. Okay. Although... I have only been a content creator on YouTube for a few months, and I do mean just a few months. I've noticed something. I've, I've been around and I visit people and I get to know people and I sit back in the cut and I watch. I tell people I'm lurking a little bit, but I'm honest about it. I don't lurk in a bad way. I'm not one of those that will sit and say, oh, well, I'm going to go and sit in this person's life to see what kind of bad things I can find out. No. I'll sit there for a few minutes and just say, and then I'll say, hi, how you doing? I aim to learn. I want to learn how to be a better content creator. I haven't even done my first live. 
So, you know, I aim to learn. That's all. There's no negativity in me at all. Won't be. You won't get that here. So, but what I've noticed is that in the YouTube community, you must genuinely support other creators. Rewind. You must genuinely support other content creators if you want to get ahead on this platform. You cannot expect other people to constantly give to you and pour into you and help you in whatever matter that you need help with and to help you grow without you giving anything ever. You just take and you take and you take and you give nothing in return. You can't do that and expect to get ahead on this platform. Offer to help someone. If you're a techie person, offer to help someone. For instance, you've gone to someone's channel and you've noticed for a while that um, they might need a banner. They don't have one. And you know how to do it. Offer your assistance. Or if they do have one and it needs a little tweaking, respectfully offer your assistance. They can either accept or decline. Either way, you offer. Or you have someone who has really good content. I mean, extremely good content, but something's just missing. And you ask him or you ask her, you know, have they been watching their analytics or anything like that? And they say, um, no. Um, what's that? I just make a video and I put stuff out and I just wait to see what happens. So... You ask, well, have you been to the YouTube studio, watching your anime? They said, no, no. So you can help them to understand it, how it works, how to navigate it. Give more than you expect to receive. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not absolutely not suggesting that you allow yourself to be used. That's not what I'm suggesting at all. Not at all. What I am saying, again, is sometimes you have to give a little more than you receive. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Okay? Moving on. Number four. <sighs> Time management. I know for me, it began to be kind of an issue because I am a mom and I, I need to take care of my one child now because the older two, they're adults. And, you know, and then there's work. And then I have an obligation to help support a family member. And, you know, there's a lot. But then I'm trying to get this channel up. And I'm trying to get this channel moving in the right direction. And then the support that I just spoke of, I'm trying to support other cre content creators and, you know, watching their videos, showing up to their lives, and, you know, commenting in chats and stuff like that, you know, showing up for premieres, it's so time consuming. It is so, so time consuming. Create you a schedule, baby. If you are truly genuine and hell set on being a YouTube creator 
and you want to make this thing work for you, create you a schedule for your life. And you're going to have to, you know, create a time where, okay, this is where I'm going to record videos. Now, you can record and edit in the same day, or you can batch record. And all that is, is you have all of your topics lined up. You're going to record on one day, and you'll edit on the next day and do your uploads and schedule them to come out on particular days at a certain time. Okay, so we'll say that's two days right there. Then you have either one day or two more days if time allows for your schedule to support other content creators where you'll go to their lives, show up for their premieres, watch new videos that have been uploaded by the ones that you do follow and support. So that's one day or two days if you have that extra time. Now, we'll give or take, you know, estimated that's four days. So you have three other days where you are available, just truly, truly 100% available for your personal life outside of YouTube. And you have to stick to that. Even if that means that, okay, on these three days, I'm not going to pick up my phone to check YouTube. And if someone comes at you sideways saying, oh, well, you're not supporting me or you're not showing up for me. Well, baby, if you pushing out videos every day, if you're having lives every day, if you have um, a premiere every day, I can't do that. Because financially, I have a job. And even if I'm not a full-time worker, I still have a family. I could be a stay-at-home mom or, you know, I could be taking care of a family member, whatever the case may be. Create a schedule that works for you. And if anyone else has an issue with it, then that's for them, not you. Schedule your life. You had a life before YouTube. You have to learn how to incorporate YouTube. It should not become your life. You have to learn how to incorporate it. Because it will stress you the hell out. It will. I've noticed it within myself. As well as other creators. It will. So create a schedule that fits your life. And do what's best for you in your time. And have no regrets or no qualms about it. Okay? Number five. And I think this may be the most important of all. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You can do it. You can do it, okay? Everything is going to work out for you. If you have anxiety, before you turn the camera on, take a few deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. Say a little prayer, which is something that we all should do. We should pray over our channels. Pray before we start. You know, do a little meditation, affirmations, whatever the case may be, that helps to calm you and to help to keep the negativity out of your mind, out of your head space and stuff. There's nothing wrong with a little prayer. And you can practice smiling if that is what works for you, you know. Smile before you turn the camera on. Talk to yourself. Give yourself a little giggle like, hey, yeah, we got this. We ready. We about to record. Then hit record and do the damn thing. 
Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You can do it. Okay? <sighs> yes, just like that. In and out. You can do it. There's enough here for all of us. It may take you a little longer than it took her. It may take me a little longer than it took him. That's okay. Our time, whenever it happens, is the right time. That's it. That's all. So, are you still here? You made it this far with me? Yeah? Hey. Yeah? Okay. You're listening, right? You're still here. Take my hand. Yeah. Oh, you don't want that one? Okay. You can have this one. You got it? You got it? Okay. Now, what we're going to do, you and I, what we are going to do is get out there and search the corners of YouTube. We're going to search the streets of YouTube. We're going to run up in these chats respectfully. And we're going to make it happen. Okay? We're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. I believe in you. And I hope that you believe in me. And we're going to get it done. So, let's grow together and win together. Okay. You got this. You got it.